One Saturday afternoon in August, God found himself at a loose end. Ideally, he would have used the time to invent a new type of frog, something he'd been meaning to do since the start of the pandemic, but to be quite honest, he couldn't be asked, and we would have only killed it off anyway. A married couple he knew only in passing had mentioned how they'd recently started following their local non-league football club, and the idea had stuck with him ever since. So, after googling, God found footballmapper.co.uk and set to work finding a fixture convenient for him. Unfortunately, the site architecture wouldn't load properly on his phone, and much of the information seemed out of date. For instance, it was still showing Berry versus Macclesfield from the 1819 season. Instead, God took to Twitter and found a tweet from a club at step 7 of the football pyramid, promoting a lineup from just 45 minutes ago. Perfect, thought God, and he immediately beamed himself down from wherever it is he lives. The ground looked surprisingly modern, and the infrastructure would surely have suited a team playing National League football. Approaching the gate and paying the £8 entrance fee, God was buoyed by a healthy attendance of 511, perhaps swelled by England's performances during the Euros. Immediately after the turnstile, a programme seller was marketing copies of today's magazine, and priced at £2, God quickly twigged that this was the perfect price for anyone who had just used a tenner to get in. Still, he thought he'd better bring something back for Jesus, even if he wasn't particularly interested in A5 colour adverts for tarmacking firms. With 10 minutes until kickoff, God headed for the clubhouse for some refreshment, although he began to get anxious as he'd used the last of his money on his previous purchases. Luckily, looking behind the bar, he saw that they did in fact take card and he wouldn't have to worry. After a short wait, he asked the barmaid for a pint of Madri, remarking that he'd never heard of it until like six months ago, and now it was everywhere. What was the deal with that? Admittedly, when he did spend time on Earth, he tended to stick to the Anglosphere, but he seriously doubted it was Madrid's number one beer. It tasted alright though. I would have liked to have told you that the first half was full of end-to-end -end action, but that would be a lie and clearly in contravention of one of the Ten Commandments. In reality, both teams were trying new systems, and very little of it was working. The deadlock was only broken in the 37th minute, when the away team capitalised on a sliced clearance, and were more than happy to slot past a 19-year-old debutant goalkeeper. At half-time, God desperately needed to expel 568 millilitres of Spanish lager, and found himself in an awkward position at the urinal. Some old boy, who was clearly more engrossed than he was, started chewing his ear off, pointing out things like, our number 7 has no pace, and their number 5 should have been sent off. God wasn't paying enough attention to have an educated answer, so just said, yeah, it is a bit, before making a hasty exit, negating the washing of his hands. The second half couldn't come fast enough, and to its credit, the shots on target started flowing, but the home side needed a penalty in the 71st minute to actually make them count. God, even as someone with a history such as his, thought that the decision was a bit harsh, but concluded that the referee had to balance some earlier decisions. Full time, 1-1. God wasn't in a rush to get back, and wasn't driving, so a second pint of Madri seemed like a good way to cap off the afternoon. Whilst at the bar, he spotted an older gentleman wearing a suit, and a tie featuring the club's colours. Figuring that this must be the chairman, he approached with an open hand outstretched. Hi, I just wanted to say that this was my first time today and I really enjoyed myself. The facilities you have here are excellent and everyone's been so friendly. You know what, when I put you lot on this planet 6,000 years ago with just the trees and the rocks and everything, I had no idea you'd do so well for yourselves. What a fantastic game you've invented. You should all be very proud. If I can't get the time off next week, I want to wish you all the best for the FA Trophy, said God.